Hi there, Bridget Mackay, an attorney in Petaluma, California. I do wills, trust, and estate planning, as well as trust and probate administration. Um, you welcome to my blog today. I want to talk about the lessons and the death of Casey Kasem. Um, coming from the Casey Kasem era, or part of it, which it stretched a long time, the legendary disc jockey and longtime host of America's Top 40 died this year, um, this month, in June 15th. What was tragic was the legal battle that consumed the last days of his life between the children of his first marriage and his wife of 34 years. And so what are some of the lessons in this experience? Well, let me take you back to the story. He had been suffering from a form of dementia called Lewy body dementia since 2007. He had planned ahead and in the early stages of his illness created a health care directive and named his daughter as his daughter Carrie as his agent. He had also in that health care directive dictated what his end of life decision or wishes would be. Unfortunately, by doing so back in 2007, he almost assured the future family feud that was struck up in 2013 when his health had severely deteriorated. Jean, his wife, of 34 years, stopped allowing the children at that time to see him, and by the fall of 2013, his children were protesting outside of his home. Ultimately, Carrie, the daughter, went to court to seek a conservatorship over his health, even though she had authority to act under the health care directive. His wife would not allow her to do so. So the feud was essentially over visitation issues and whether his care was in the best, in his best interest. Days before the hearing on the conservatorship, his wife removed him from the nursing home he had been in and um, took him to Seattle. The court in California, over his wife's objections, awarded the daughter Carrie the right to make his health decisions at that time. And eventually his daughter, citing the terms in his earlier 2007 health care directive, approved the termination of his life support um, when she believed, um, as was indicated in his directive, that he was devoid of cognitive function and there was no hope of recovery. He died soon after. What went wrong here? Um, Casey, or Casey, Casey Kasem had planned ahead number one, which is what we always say, by creating a health care directive and giving end-of-life instructions and naming an agent. The lesson he failed to appreciate in this situation was the depth of distrust and animosity between his children and his wife. These severe reactions don't come up on their own without a history. Um, and suffice it to say, after you know, he married Jean, his wife, only one year after the divorce, from his children's birth mother. And at that time, I think the potential seed for animosity was created, and it only grew from there. In the ongoing years, there was likely the knowledge by Casey Kasem that everybody didn't quite get along as they should. Um, and my guess is, as I've seen in many cases in my own practice, that this caused some um, denial and avoidance of communication around um, what he did. No one knows why he named his daughter Carrie over his wife in 2007 as his health care agent, but he did it. And the reason we don't know it is because he didn't communicate it. So could all of this been avoided? Maybe. Typical attorney answer, I know. But he either shouldn't have named Carrie as his agent or made it very clear to her, his wife, and the other two children about what he wanted and why he was naming Carrie, even if it would cause distress with his wife, Jean. Only honest communication in the appropriate and coupled with the appropriate documents that were planned ahead can avoid conflicts like this in advance. Can they completely eradicate them? Probably not, but the statistically, the likelihood is greatly reduced had he just had that communication and stated his reasons why. Otherwise, the animosity that was still there and the distress really just grows exponentially in these situations. If you find yourself in a similar situation as Casey Kasem and you have named someone other than your wife or who would logically be named in these documents, you need to talk to that person and the person you didn't name 
and let them know why. If you need help planning for these documents, always find a qualified estate planning attorney. Thank you.